Thank you very much, Simone. Thank you, Domenico, for this first part. All right, let me launch the second part of our webinar. Perfect, we have the presentation. Excellent. So, as you all know, the world of advertising has changed tremendously in recent years. And as we've already seen in this first part, AI agents have become true digital collaborators. They are no longer just tools. So, in this second part, our goal is to show you how we can make a transition from a more traditional approach to an innovative new way of working in a collaborative manner with the aim of having AI agents and people collaborate efficiently. The objective, of course, is never to replace professionals, but rather to find a more effective way. I'll also give you a little preview that at the end of the second part, we have a delightful small surprise for you, as you might expect. Domenico showed us in the first part that AI agents can assist with many daily tasks across different industries. But when we talk specifically about the world of advertising, what happens when we face more complex challenges as often occurs in the realm of advertising? You know very well, as you may already know, that in the advertising workflow, there is a very complicated and intricate process with many different stages and skill sets and expertise, where a single AI agent is not enough. Typically, each agent can handle only one specific task, so to cover the entire advertising workflow, we need multiple specialized agents, each with a precise role. This is why we need a multi-agent system. In this case, a multi-agent system is essentially an AI technology that allows multiple AI agents to collaborate within an automated system. This model can also be perfectly applied in the advertising world, as I will show you shortly. As I already mentioned, indeed, artificial intelligence agents are truly transforming advertising consistently with the goal of enhancing the work of professionals and, as I said before, not replacing them. So, as you can see in this model on this slide, imagine a team of AI experts that are always active, 24 hours a day, capable of automating repetitive tasks or activities. This, in turn, undoubtedly gives professionals more space and time to focus on strategic decision-making. In a multi-agent model like the one we see here on this slide, as you can see, each artificial intelligence agent has a specific role, just like in a team, right? So here, just to give you some examples, we have the media strategist agent, for instance, which analyzes the audience and then defines the best strategy. And to give you another example, we also have the media buyer agent, which then purchases advertising spaces at the best price, just like in a regular team, right? And what are the advantages of this approach that we see here? So we basically have three advantages. The first advantage is definitely that we are faster and more efficient. This means we can automate many repetitive tasks, giving professionals more free time to focus on strategic and creative decisions. The second point is certainly that they can make smarter decisions because we can start optimizing campaigns in real time thanks to data. And the third point is definitely that we can achieve greater effectiveness, making advertising more strategic and performing. So as a takeaway from this slide, we can essentially understand that with the integration of AI into the human world, media planning becomes much more precise, fast, and high performing. Let's start talking a bit about Mint and what we have done to connect the world of AI agents to advertising. We have developed a multi-agent system to make advertising more efficient, precise, and scalable. And so here you can see three different levels, which I will explain in a moment because it is quite a complex world. The first step is essentially the automation of repetitive and manual processes in the advertising workflow. As I mentioned earlier, AI optimizes specific tasks such as ad uploading and bid management efficiently. This, as I already mentioned, frees up more time for professionals, allowing them to focus on strategy. 
Another issue as we start talking about the second layer is that one of the main problems in the advertising world is the fragmentation of data across different platforms. This is also one of the pain points, one of the biggest challenges our clients face when we talk to them. And so one of the key issues is that with platforms like Google Ads, Amazon, Meta, and for example, CRM systems, it is often difficult to analyze data effectively, right? Because of this fragmentation, it becomes harder and harder to establish a unique process to properly report, analyze, and extract insights from data. So what have we done at Mint? We have developed a system that aggregates and normalizes this data in real time to provide a unified and clear view for the end user. Once we have level one and level two, meaning data unification and advertising workflow automation, AI agents essentially come into play, which is level three. So to use a real life example, let's imagine the media strategist agent I mentioned earlier, analyzing an audience and defining the strategy, while the optimization agent, which I also mentioned before, adjusts the campaigns in real time. Essentially, there is a collaboration between the various agents always using the data from level two and following the workflow of level one. So in the end, uh, ultimately, a multi-agent system for advertising is not just a tool for saving time, but also for reducing costs and making media management much more efficient and streamlined. Obviously, if used correctly, this truly becomes a value driving engine. Domenico, coming back to you, since you're our AI expert, can I ask you to please help me explain a little more in detail how Mint's architecture is exactly structured? Ah, absolutely. We clearly have a situation that is quite complex. It intricately deals with various aspects of media involving multiple elements that require careful consideration. The complexity arises from the interplay of different media channels and platforms involved in the advertising workflow. Our industry is full of particular elements, nuances, and specific logics unique to our field. So the first challenge was to shape a multi-agent system that doesn't just perform in general, but one that is extremely reliable for our use cases and our industry. To achieve this, we relied on a series of architectural approaches where the focus is truly on reliability. At the same time, however, the world of agents and language models allows us to introduce new sources into the process and our product, not just more API data, but also, as you can see, the client's knowledge base. This means that by using Mint Arm platform, including our multi-agent system, you will have the ability to incorporate your company's use cases and strategies and effectively leverage AI agents purpose built for advertising. So there is also this element of a new horizon. We are no longer just dealing with data from APIs, cold numbers, but also with the knowledge base and the specific aspects relevant to each user in the media field. Great, thank you, Domenico. This is a very complex world, so it's definitely not a structure that can be easily built at home, I'd say. It's better to rely on the experts. Thank you very much. So you've already understood that here at Mint, we are lending a hand, right? We are helping our clients change the way they work by providing access to our AI multi-agent system. This will definitely make it much easier in the future to optimize advertising campaigns more quickly and effectively with specialized synthetic teammates. Now, at this moment, going back to the point that Domenico also mentioned and looking at this slide with the interface we have created, our platform is essentially based on three key principles. The first point is scalability and adaptability. Our agents and the system we have developed adapt seamlessly to different teams and needs, giving you maximum possible flexibility to carry out your activities effectively. The second point is accuracy, so that all of this information provided remains absolutely precise in real time, allowing for better decision making based always on data driven insights. And as a third crucial point, we have intuitiveness. As clearly demonstrated here, 
We offer a very simple yet highly user-friendly interface. We also provide two distinct modes for utilizing this advanced system, desktop mode as well as mobile mode. As previously mentioned earlier, it remains quite intuitive. Users who engage interactively within this innovative platform can directly communicate with the AI agent receiving intelligent suggestions. Additionally, users can also use their own voice to communicate with the system thanks to our speech-to-speech -speech function. This means that our intelligent voice agent can even make calls allowing you to speak directly on the phone when you don't have the time to use the desktop application. Now, as I promised, I have a little surprise for you. Instead of talking further about the capabilities of our system, I thought it would be more interesting to see it live. So we have prepared a short demo to show you how Mint's AI agents work in real life use cases. Let's see how our multi-agent system simplifies media planning. Welcome to the Mint demo. My name is Yadin and today we will see how a team of AI agents collaborate to get things done. Let's start with a challenging question. Let's imagine a user asking our team of AI agents to create a media plan for his phone line. The goal is to achieve the sales targets for the next quarter, looking at the CRM, with a complete focus on this specific product. As the system processes, I want you to look at the bottom right corner of the screen right here, where you can see the different types of AI agents. So you can see we have a media planner, we have an agent supervisor, a data analyst, and a finance agent. And as the response comes in, they're going to light up. So you can see it's already processing, it's typing. And we have the response from the media planner who says, got it, I'll prepare a media mix for you. So we have the plan. Here is the list of media mix and plan. I'll go over it, but let's say I have to run. So I would say, sorry, I need to go, call me. I have some comments. Now pick up the phone and I'm gonna wait for the call to come in. What's supposed to happen is that one of the agents should trigger our voice agent. And this is the multimodal aspect. Sure thing, I'll have our data analyst call you right now, the finance agent says. And now I'm just gonna wait for the ring. They have my phone number. And I'm gonna pick up the same chat exactly where we left off. So let's wait for the voice agent's call to come in. I want you to include in the plan the variation caused by increased competition. I'll carefully add the planning to strategically control competitive pressure and provide a second option. I will keep you informed about their response and explain how it might impact the costs involved, ensuring you have all the necessary details. I'm not happy with this. Could you adjust it to maximize access and conversion while fully controlling competitive pressure? Understood. I'll carefully and meticulously refine the strategy in a comprehensive manner and thoroughly provide a third draft. Okay, thanks, bye. Now I wanna cut the voice stream and return to text. As we receive a new message in the chat about the third plan, I wanna show you another component here at the top right, the agent efficiency test. At any moment, we can check how AI agents are improving the team's efficiency. In the meantime, we had the response plan. I realized that I needed to find a strategy and provide a third chart. And here is the finalized plan. We made mistakes across several channels. Let's say we like it, let's say it's much better. What should happen is that it should ask me how to carry out the project in order to proceed. What's great about this multi-agent approach is that they can not only execute the campaigns we suggest through the Mint platform, but also the media planner asks whether you want to approve this campaign based on past logic, start running it and adjust it over time, or if you prefer it to be fixed and unaffected by variables. For example, I want a campaign that updates in real time this is a challenge because it means I need to continuously monitor my system, whether it's Mint or wherever I manage the campaigns and constantly modify it in real time. Let's see how the system handles this. Another agent should be activated to take care of this. Okay, so we have the financial agent starting using the computer, then identifying the variables. You can see them here, accessing the Mint platform, searching for the campaigns, and finally, boom, selecting the auto update campaign. Great. Okay, now I want to call the system. Let's call the system. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's next on the agenda? Listen, what's the latest on the home Wi-Fi campaign that we finished? Okay, okay, no need to go through it now. 
Just send me an email with a summary of the campaign and CC my whole team. Okay, now on the 4.8% benchmark, conversion rate came in at 3.1%, slightly below the 3.5% goal. ROAS reached 4.7%. Okay, okay, no need to go through it now. Just send me an email with a summary of the campaign and CC my whole team. Got it. I'll send it right away and CC your team. Disconnected. And as we wait for the response, what should happen next is they should pick up the emails. The emails, just like my phone numbers, are already logged in the system. So the responses we should see now are essentially the agents taking everything we put together and sending out an email. Here, the finance agent just sent an email with the plan details. We have the team members here and the file with the campaign summary, which is exactly what we need. Let's make another call. I want to continue with the multimodal. Let's just make a call. One moment, please, if you don't mind. What are the invoices for the television flight from last month? And what are the issues with distribution growth? The data shows a small gap, 1.2 million impressions billed, but only 1.18 million delivered. That's a 1.67% variance. I've already flagged it to the vendor and I am waiting for their response. Keep me posted on the reply and how that affects the cost.